Alright guys, so... We're at the shop today and we are working on the Civics. It's been, I think it's been about a week since we've uh, really touched this thing. Messed with the yellow Civic, did a little bit of things with the Mustang, went and drifted that. And this thing's been basically just kind of sitting, waiting on just an absolute mountain of parts. But before we could put that stuff in the engine bay and make it go fast, obviously it's kind of ugly looking. So got a little bit of rubbing compound and stuff in here. But the engine bay just from the factory is just kind of this flat like black color or like a flat purple so basically they almost use like a base coat on it but they don't actually put like clear in it so it just doesn't look very good at all so i'm uh, gonna go ahead and paint the engine bay uh, and i also have a brand new clutch kit uh, so instead of just trying to like mask off the, the engine and stuff we're just going to drop it out of the bottom swap the clutch on it and paint the engine bay and then put everything back in it and then we're going to put a turbo on it so uh yeah, basically gonna start off, yank off the bumper headlights, uh, fenders, all that stuff. I already yanked off the side skirts. Um, usually these engines drop out really, really easy out of the bottom. And uh, so we should have this thing out of here in probably about an hour and then just basically start scuffing it and get it ready to, to paint. So here we go. So one of the nice things about Civics is that the engines just literally come in and out of it here so easy. Like if you had a B-series Civic and a, and a D-series Civic sitting next to each other, you could probably swap both engines, both trannies and everything with them. If you had like one like team, you could probably do it in like four hours. Like, you know, one person working on each car, you could probably swap like a B-series and a Civic in like four or five hours just because everything's literally plug and play if you have the right mounts and everything. Um, which most of the mounts and stuff like this, since it's uh, old, I think this older B-Series, you have to have this two post mount adapter over here. Whereas normally this chassis has like a little L, kind of sits right here at the D-Series, but it basically just adapts it right there. So if you pretty much have that bracket and you have the B-Series rear T-bracket, you can literally swap a B-Series in these things so fast, it's crazy. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and replace both of the axles clean up all the nuts and bolts and all that type of stuff uh, clean up under the car and just make this thing like really nice and presentable so uh, yeah got the old uh, Harbor Freight engine stand up underneath there so basically just gonna continue coming up with it there she is she's out now we can kind of roll it around I need to get one of the the little vane engine stands for a b-series if we're gonna start be playing with b-series for a while but i don't do a whole lot of b-series stuff uh and i know we did talk about case swapping this thing initially uh but i just kind of decided that uh you know it'd be cool to leave the b-series in it do some cool little turbo stuff so that's kind of the plan um uh, yeah basically now gotta get this engine bit all cleaned degrees to get all this crap off of it uh basically just get it ready to spray so again gonna try to try to freaking spray this thing today so we'll see how far we get So been messing around in the engine bay, basically degreasing everything, uh, sprayed it all down, already kind of dried because I, I was in the office eating a sandwich. But uh, yeah, basically gonna pressure wash it. But before we do that, actually underneath the car has like, looks like it drove down a dirt road once upon a time. It has kind of like that, that red dirt road stuff under it. So what I'm actually gonna do is why it's up on the lift is I'm gonna pull the pressure washer hose over here and uh, I'm gonna degrease under it real quick and then blast it with a pressure washer and then we'll just kind of suck up some of the, the fluid and stuff. Normally, since it's so freaking hot out, it normally evaporates pretty quick and I just try not to use as, as 
Try not to use a whole lot of water. We'll just use as little as we can. All right guys, so I can't believe that yesterday I thought I was gonna paint this thing before the end of the day. Uh, that just didn't happen. So, got everything all pressure washed, uh, degreased, and one of the main things I did was actually just degrease and pressure wash the whole bottom of this, the car. Uh, turned out really good, it came out really clean actually, and the whole engine bay. So you can see, uh, yesterday when I was pressure washing the engine bay, I basically took some scuff stuff and some uh, red scotch bright, basically scotch brighted everything, and then today I went ahead and grabbed the DA with some 320 grit and some 400 grit and just kind of buzz some spots some little things over here where there was a couple like little scratches and stuff could just kind of smooth them out uh clean some of that stuff up then there was a couple little uh little like not imperfections but things that we didn't really need right here that i just filled really quick with just some icing uh so clean that up through some uh some quick little high build primer on it and um letting that stuff sit up so basically now i just need to start masking the car and then all this stuff in the engine bay. So I'm gonna pull some more of this stuff out, uh, but one of the things, and one of the tricks that's actually really cool is, uh, is you could use aluminum foil. So you could take aluminum foil and basically put it around all the brake lines, put it around basically whatever you don't want to have paint on it, and uh, you know, it molds really good, and then, uh, and then basically you just kind of tape the edges if you can, or you just wrap it in uh, an aluminum foil, and it turns out pretty good. So uh, yeah, that's basically the plan now. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and actually spray it here in the shop. Uh, since it is an engine bay, it doesn't really matter if it gets like just a little bit of dirt in it. And uh, uh, Josh is actually has some stuff over there in the paint booth today anyhow. So uh, it's kind of the only option. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mask off the car really, really good. And I'm basically just gonna try to tape all the way around it. Cause one of the bad things is, is when, when you're painting something like an engine bay, uh, it blows, it basically could get, un oh, you're not really worried about overspray settling on top of it. You're worried about overspray like going underneath the car, getting in between the uh, like the the tarp or whatever that we put on it, like that plastic stuff, and uh, and then you get kind of like this hazy looking weird overspray that comes up underneath it. And so I, I've I've dealt with that before, and I don't want to deal with that. So I'm basically going to tape 
all the way around it and basically tape off all the painted surfaces so that we don't uh, we don't have that issue. So uh, one of the other things I'm doing real quick is actually painting this guy too. Uh, so this is like Type R style, whatever, uh, little ricey Civic wing essentially. Uh, I think they actually look really good on here on these cars. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint that purple uh, at the same time as I do the engine bay. So the engine bay is gonna match the car and uh, it's gonna look pretty good. So I just gotta scuff this thing really quick and then I gotta start masking off the car. We should be able to get this thing, uh, we should be able to get this painted by the end of the day is, is the new goal. Trev's getting her already. She's just about ready for paint. Oh man, this fan, it is. It is hot one, boys. Speaking of a hot one, guys, I do just want to take a quick moment and thank today's video sponsor, and that is Native. In these summer months, deodorant is almost essential. I've actually been using Native myself for a while before they actually reached out to us. So when they approached us with this, I was super on board. I love this coconut vanilla scent. It's actually my favorite. Mm, it smells great. They also sent us this coastal oak amber and a eucalyptus mint. All of them have a great scent. So I actually switched to Native myself personally a while back. I was looking for you know completely all natural, aluminum free, paraben free deodorant, stuff like that. Whether you're into some of the health benefits, things like that, it personally was a big deal for me. So that's why I made the switch. So the good thing I've noticed about Native is unlike other deodorants, it goes on dry, doesn't have that, like, that sticky tacky feeling. And even after a long hot day of being out here in the shop, I noticed a lasting scent. You know, I, I exercise, I work out every day, drenched in sweat, and I still notice that I have a long lasting scent. In addition to those scents that they sent us, if you jump on Native's website, as you can see, they have tons of different varieties you can choose from. A bunch of different scents besides, like I said, the coconut vanilla is my favorite. We we'll go ahead and like I said, they got a really easy to use website, shows all their active ingredients, meaning stuff you recognize like cocoa butter, shea butter, stuff like that in their products. All right guys, so like you saw, we got those three deodorants. Three are normally $36, but if you go ahead and use our code Motion or the link in the description right below here, it's actually gonna get that for 33% off and free shipping to your door. So that's only gonna be $24 for, for three different sticks for you. You can get all kinds of different scents that you want. So go ahead, use that link in the description, support them for supporting us. And let's get back right into the Civic and get this bad boy painted. So, got the engine bay basically in base coat. So you can see it just has kind of a, a really matte, kind of satiny finish to it. And uh, so yeah, I mean, 
pretty much all we're gonna do now is uh, throw some clear in the gun and uh, spray some clear on this guy. So all these pieces are turning out pretty good. Doesn't look like the stuff's getting too dirty in here, which I'm pretty stoked about. Uh, basically wet the floor, swept up a little bit, and then I have a fan kind of blowing it out. Uh, and I have that fan up there, which is kind of keeping it down from up here. So seems like everything's turning out pretty good. Uh, I'm excited to get that clear coat on there. All right, boys, she's done. Got all these pieces painted. Got the engine bay painted. Woo! Look at that. That color is so cool. So shiny. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's just something about a nice, clean engine bay. And it's kind of funny, this, this is, uh, Seems like a similar color to what is, uh, is actually in the engine bay of my yellow Civic. This is a little bit, has a little bit more blue to it. Uh, and I think it has a lot more pearl into it. But either way, they're both, uh, they're both pretty cool colors. And uh, it, it's just kind of a shame that they don't paint, you know, clear coat the engine base from the factory on these things. Cause they would just look a whole lot better and they'd be a lot easier to take care of. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much that. She's, uh, she's all painted. Gonna go ahead and basically let it sit up overnight and uh, we have a lot of stuff I need to do to uh, to the actual engine and stuff. Uh, need to pressure wash the engine, pressure wash the tranny, uh, when it, go ahead and put in the new clutch, do all that type of stuff. Just clean up a, a bunch on it, a bunch of stuff on it in general. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. That's kind of how you uh, how you paint your bay. Uh, one of the things that I did want to say though is like when you are painting your bay, you don't have to leave the paint gun in like the fan where it, it's like basically a fan. Um, you could actually turn the dial down a little bit to where it's actually like a cone so it kind of shoots out more of like a like a fire hose almost like a rattle can and so that works out really good so when you're painting like these areas right here in the back basically you could just kind of take the gun and just go and then you could like point it down there in the hole and just kind of like fire hose some stuff on it works really good for like down there on the bottom uh, way way down there especially when you're trying to reach over stuff it's kind of hard especially when you have just a fan uh, you have to get really really close to it or you could just you know turn it into a fire hose so uh that is going to be it for this video guys i appreciate you guys watching if uh if you guys have not got entered for a chance to win the civic you know you should probably do that pretty soon because uh, the giveaway is coming to an end i think it ends on the 15th of uh of august so we don't have a lot of time and uh, we got a lot of cool merch and stuff and if you guys order now it would help me out with inventory and all that stuff um but uh yeah, turbo stuff is coming soon for it. Really, really excited about that. I'm gonna try to do that whole thing in a day, basically like turbo it in a day. And then uh, we should be at the ice cream cruise this weekend, uh, which is Saturday, Sunday in Omaha. So if you guys are around there and if you guys see this video before then, uh, we should be out there with the yellow Civic and the Mustang. Um, yeah, I think that's about it guys. Uh, appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you later.